What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content in Pisces, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a um, Oracle card reading for week three of September 2022. This is Die Marks, by the way. Die Marks. Nobody um, domestic uh, violenced me, assaulted me, or anything like that. It's Die Marks, okay? Um, this is for the sign of Pisces. This could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammer, Jupiter chart. I said Oracle card, but I actually feel really guided to get tarot cards. So we'll do some tarot cards and then I'll pull some Oracle too, okay? Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. Who? If you like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. And if you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it, you guys. This could resonate if you have Pisces in any aspect of your charts, and I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammond, and Jupiter charts for additional message or messages if they do apply for you. This is a free general collective reading, not a personal, so um, don't be forcing anything that doesn't fit, okay? I have not received any channel messages yet, but um, if I do, I will let you know. Spirit messages here for my license. Heavy spiritual energy for some. Okay, I heard heavy spiritual energy for some. So for some of you guys, you're very spiritual. Um, and you have heavy spiritual presence around you. If this resonates for you, um, that's beautiful energy. Uh, whoever that's for, that's for some of you guys. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? King of Pentacles upright, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Okay, we have four Pentacles upright, Nine of Wands reverse, King of Pentacles upright, Ace of Pentacles reverse. A Pisces is combating identity theft right now, and a Pisces is about to be exposed for identity theft. One has already been exposed. Heavy identity theft in here? Holy crap. So some of you guys is combating identity theft. Uh, maybe somebody stole your identity. That's what I'm feeling. Um, and you're combating it right now in the energetic space, and that would under, that, that would make sense why you're holding on to your money. Um, and you don't have any stress, anxiety, worry, fear, because you know you are who you are. Um, and you're at the King of Pentacles, you can be masculine or feminine that takes on heavy masculine, and you're not accepting any new offers or anything, you're holding on to your money. It's clear as day in here. Hold on, hold, hold on to your money. Four of Pentacles upright, Ace of Pentacles reversed, with the King of Pentacles, you're a King of Pentacles, so I don't blame you. Uh, if you are who you are, um, I don't blame you. Um, it's the products that have to worry, and that's just the truth. Uh, one's already been exposed for identity theft, one is about to be, but for one of you guys, Somebody's trying to identity thief you, and you're trying to, um, and you not, you're trying. You are holding on to your money. So, that's beautiful. So, absolutely. Don't be giving anybody your green card number, your social security card number, your um, what have you, what have you. Any kind of personal identification um, information, do, uh, do not. do. I mean, of course, you can take the advice or leave it, but it wouldn't be smart. I don't care if you feel you trust somebody. It wouldn't be smart, and that's just the truth. Um, and I hate to say that, but we live in 2022. Even somebody that you think is your ride or die could betray you in a New York minute. And that's just the truth, if anybody needs to hear that. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple oracles. Some of you guys are very, very, very spiritual. So you can be spiritual and religious or just spiritual. Uh, of course, you plug it into your own life and situation, however it resonates. A very spiritual Pisces is about to create very negative tower moments for many low vibrational people. A very spiritual high vibrational Pisces is about to um, create um, tower moments for low vibrational people. 
So whoever you are, Pisces, you're high vibrational, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, and values. And you're about to um, create negative, heavy power moments for um, many low vibrational people. So people that don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, and values. You plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. We have gavel involvement with the law. That could be the identity theft. Um, somebody's trying to identity thief you. Maybe you're going to call the police or the, you are in contact with the police or you're about to be in contact with the police. Or if you're on, you're the low vibrational side of that and you have identity thief somebody, you've already been caught or you're about to be caught, law is about to get involved. And that's going to create a change for the better because nobody should identity thief anybody anytime. And that's just the truth. Fair messages you have some Pisces. And one of you guys is very high vibrational. You're about to create very negative power moments for many low vibrational people. So I think you're about to, um, I think you're about to mandatory report. If you're a mandatory reporter or you're about to report something. I didn't hear reporting. I just kind of intuitively feel reporting energy. <clears throat> you're about to, uh, maybe you know something. Or you're about to learn something that's going to create negative power moments for other people. Is what I feel. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, somehow you're very high vibrational and you're very spiritual and you're about to create negative power moments for other people. Low vibrational people. Unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. One, you're about to call the police. One, you're about to call the FBI. One, a detective is about to contact you. One, you're about to call the police. One, you're about to call the FBI. And for one of you guys, a detective is about to contact you. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for you have to plug it, plug, plug yourself in where you fit. So one of you guys is going to call the police. So you're going to take action to contact the police, a change for the better. That could be over identity theft, because we have identity theft strong in here, or anything else. For one, you're going to call the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigations. How that resonates. So law, that's FBI, that's the um, assuming detective, or police, or what have you, what have you. For one, a detective is about to contact you, so they are about to contact you. Butterfly, change for the better. 555 energy. This is about to create a wonderful change, and you know this. A very manipulative feminine energy in the past was heavily manipulating you, but you have broke free. Using your head. Okay. I heard this is about to create a um, change for the better. Whether you're going to call the police or the FBI, or a detective is going to contact you, or... Um, you're going to combat against identity theft or anything else. Or you're the spiritual person about to create negative power moments for other people. How are we going to do that? But it's going to create um, change. I heard in the past, if this resonates for you, you can be masculine or feminine. A fem energy, I heard a very heavy manipulative feminine energy basically was manipulating you very heavily. Uh, whoever she is and how she applies. Or she was manipulating you very heavily, but basically you have broke free of it. Air sign energy. Air sign energy. It was air sign fem. Gemini Libra Aquarius feminine. She could have Gemini Libra Aquarius in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or fem, and name of chart, whoever she is. But she was manipulating you very heavily in the past, Pisces. But I heard you have broke free of the manipulation. For some, it was a water sign fem. Okay, so for some, it was the air sign fem. For some, it was a water sign fem. 
So for some of you guys, it was Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fam. For some of it was a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fam. You plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, whoever she is, she was very highly manipulative. She was manipulating you to do something, but you have broke free of the manipulation. So you are independent thinker now. I think in the past, you were feeding, 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 feeding into whatever crap she was saying. But it was working for her because you, you, it sounds like you were doing what she wanted you to do. But it sounds like you have stood up to her or you're about to stand up to her. And it's creating a change for the better for you and the situation. Because I heard it's um, benefiting the whole entire situation. Overall, you basically using your own head and standing up for yourself besides feeding into whatever bull crap she was feeding you in the past. Whether it was a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio fam or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius fam. Whoever this person is and how they plug into life. Which is creating an overall change for the better, I think, for the entire uh, world. For the entire situation, world, you, etc., etc., etc. Okay? Unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. A Pisces is about to start eating better, much better, and taking care of their body, much better. A Pisces is about to start eating better and uh, taking care of their body um, better. So good for you, Pisces, if this resonates for you. Uh, I feel for some you could have had some kind of health conditions possibly um, that maybe gave you a wake-up call or not. You plug it in how it resonates. But... Um, Feel for some, you might have. You might have had some health conditions that kind of gave you a little health stare, and maybe that's why you're going to take care of your body a little better. Uh, for some, maybe you just want to look better in your clothes, and that's why you're going to eat better. And um, for some, I think it might include exercising or maybe just um, making some kind of changes to eating styles or um, caloric intake or exercise or just self-loving yourself, which is going to create a change for the better. I mean, you've got spiritual, heavy spiritual energy in here, where you're, whether you're religious or spiritual or just spiritual or what have you, what have you. You've got combating identity theft. You've got really holding on to your money. Nobody's able to touch this money, and they shouldn't be able to touch your money, and that's just the truth. Um, you've got making changes to your health um, through eating and other ways. Um, this really is looking good, Pisces. Very, very, very good. Okay. Let me see if I hear anything else. Uh, through many series of chain events, a very high vibrational Pisces reader is about to reach out to another high vibrational reader. Very important information. They really respect this reader in huge ways. It's going to be very beneficial information for this reader. I'm going to pull your oracle. So you plug it in how it resonates, Pisces. Okay, so your high vibrational Pisces is this reader if this resonates for you. So you are a tarot card reader or a light side spiritualist or a psychic investigator or what have you, what have you. I mean, um, or social justice warrior or what have you, what have you, okay? You plug yourself in where you fit, but um, you're high vibrational and you're very spiritual and um, however that resonates and applies in your life, okay? But however that resonates, I heard you're about to reach out to another reader. So like a light side spiritualist reader, social justice warrior, psychic investigator, what have you, what have you. Um, I heard you really respect this person. You've got some very important information to give them. So you know something or you're about to find out something that's really going to help this reader. But it, um, and I think that's you using your intuition to make beneficial changes as well as far as contacting this reader. Um, you have not reached out to this reader before. For one, you have. Oh, there's two of you. Okay. 
So for one, you have not reached reached out to the reader before, but for one, you have. So for one, you have reached out to this reader before. For one, you have not. There's two of you in here. You can be masculine or feminine. I'm feeling. Um, but I heard it's going to help out this reader in huge ways. Whatever information you're about to give them and how that resonates and applies. For some, I feel it could be regarding that manipulative uh, water sign femme or, um, or the uh, air sign femme possibly. Or it could be anything else. But however that resonates, it's going to create a change for the better. Um, I heard you really respect this person. So you know who this person is. Like, you're going to have a game plan as far as reaching out to this person. And I heard you really respect them. So, you know, it's not like a shot in the dark is what I'm trying to say. Spirit messages you have inside Pisces. Um, this is really looking good, Pisces. Y'all know sometimes I pick up some really, 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 really dark energy. Um, I mean, that goes for all the signs, but especially Pisces. But this is looking great. Look, new beginnings. This is going to create new beginnings. Somebody's really thinking for themselves. I feel for some, you've created your own business or businesses. And buddy, you are just, you're going full speed ahead. Um, you are just doing the damn thing. Um, you, you're marching forward. You're taking a, a hold of your dreams and your aspirations. You're thinking for yourself and you're doing what makes you happy. Which creates a change for the better. You cannot get any better of that. For some, if it's not business or businesses, it could be workspace energy. How that resonates. But we have heavy spiritualist energy in here, high vibrational spiritualist energy. We have heavy business owner energy in here. And um, But you don't have to be. You can work out in 3D as well. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? But it's going to create new beginnings. Number 10, completions of cycles. New beginnings all across the board. Some you're about to reach out. Some are about to reach out to you. For some, you're about to get a lot of inquiries about personal readings. Okay, that's beautiful. So a lot of communication here, a lot of communication, which is creating new beginnings here. And the new beginning, too, is breaking free this manipulation of whoever the crap this heavy manipulative water sign or air sign femme is that basically was either blackmailing you, blackballing you, or snowing you so bad that basically you fed into their dirty little game or games in the past. Um, however it resonates. For some, it's a fire sign feminine. For some, it's a fire sign femme. Okay. Well... Okay, there's three. For some, it was an air sign femme. For some, it was a water sign femme. For some, it was a fire sign femme. So, some it was Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some, it was a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Some, it was Aries Leo Sag. But they heavily manipulated you to do something. To play into their dirty little game, their mind tricks, or mind games, what have you, what have you. But you broke free. You broke free, baby. Nobody should have succumbed to that. Going to create new beginnings. Um, and communication coming. Uh, for some, I heard it's you reaching out, which for some, it's spiritualist to spiritualist energy. You reaching out to this other life side spiritualist, that's one situation. For some of you guys, it's I heard you're about to have a lot of people come to you asking you for personal readings. So it's going to be people, it sounds like several people, coming towards you asking you for personal readings. Which is going to create new beginnings for you. It's going to create income stream. Um, I don't, you could be a home reader. You could be a, a online public platform. I feel for a lot of you guys, your online public platform, but you plug it in how it resonates, how that resonates in the plot. Okay. It's going to make business go up. One low vibrational Pisces manipulated their community in the past, had readings pulled on another individual. You're about to get a mass influx of people wanting their refund money back. Realize they were lied to in a huge way. Oh, Lord. So, okay, so if this resonates for you, um, you're low vibrational. You're low vibrational Pisces, and you basically manipulated your community. So I feel this is like community, like in your own community energy. I don't feel this is online public platform. For some, it could be. 
Um, maybe it was a mixture of both, but <clears throat> whoever this love of racial Pisces is, and obviously this, I think this is just for one that I'm pulling in. Um, you manipulate, whoever you are, love of racial Pisces, I heard you manipulated your community. So I think your local community. Um, I heard basically to, they came influxed and in mass, it sounds like to come to you to get personal readings, trying to pull energy and ask about a particular, another particular femme energy. But I heard soon they're about to, and it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It's about to, they're about to come to you in mass and ask for their money back refund because they realized they were lied to in a huge way. You're about to experience a huge money loss here. And one of these people will, um, will file legal paperwork on you. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug in how it resonates. So you lied, you lied about this fem energy. Uh, these people are finding out, I guess, um, they're finding out or they're about to find out you lied about this fem energy, whoever you are, Pisces. Um, you accepted money and did personal readings for, it sounds like your, like your 3D community um, in the past, but you're about to get a bunch of people come, just know you're about to get a bunch of people come to you, ask you for refunds. It's, I think it's people in your own community. Um, I heard you use them um, and you lied to them. So I think you would intentionally lied to them. And I heard one person's going to take you, uh, file some kind of legal action on you. So um, that can be involvement with the law too. Um, that's just for, I think, one low vibrational Pisces. You plug it in how it resonates, not for the majority of you guys, okay? Maybe you guys know that low vibrational Pisces. Holy crap, I'm only. All right, I think I'm done, you guys. I hope this helps. Um, let me, let me, I'll pull back for one more. I'll pull one more. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Pisces. If you guys would like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below uh, if you're interested, okay? Uh, they're $125 for 20 minutes. You do not pay until um, we establish contact 15 minutes before the appointment time. Just let everybody know, okay? Um, and I cannot guarantee spiritual downloads during the readings. I really try hard to get them. There has been cases where I have not, though. Most of the readings I do, but I just need to disclaimer that, okay? Uh, elves, playfulness, number 15, can be very significant number one's life, number 15, playfulness. A high vibrational Pisces and another high vibrational Fem energy. They're about to establish a new connection soon. They're about to be a wonderful energetic match. We'll end up being good friends through many series of chain of events. Okay, wow, this is beautiful. So new connections all across the board, new beginnings, new communication, new connections. You've got people wanting to come in for um, readings, um, high vibrational people. You've got uh, high vibrational readers connecting with high vibrational readers, whether it's a new connection or reconnect. You've got, I mean, my goodness, this is nice. So, but this is a new connection if this resonates for you. This is a new connection. Um, it's you and another high vibrational being about to connect. And I heard you guys are going to be on the same energetic wavelength. Um, and I heard you um, you guys are basically going to hit it off. I think you might joke around. You might play around. I think you might have the same personality, playfulness here. <clears throat> I think you might incorporate jokes and laughter and fun into your banter is what I think. Um, I don't think this is like some weird, creepy kinky thing i think this is like true personality thing and i'm just being for real but you plug it in how it resonates and i think um whoever this is for for you um the high vibrational pisces that um with the new communication with the high vibrational being that's going to be fun and laughter and playfulness and etc 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 i think it's going you're going to use your intuition to make beneficial beneficial changes because i heard through many series of time events you guys will end up being good friends so I don't think they're going to try to use you. I don't think you're going to try to use them. I think you guys are on the same. I heard your own. I did hear you're on the same energetic wavelength. So you're on the same energetic wavelength, uh, which is beautiful. Um, so I think you're going to have something in common to speak about is what I'm saying, um, which is beautiful. It's going to create new beginnings with the playfulness. I love these cards. And a Pisces is about to send someone a gift soon for many series of time events. 
and a Pisces is about to send someone a gift soon through many series of chain events. And for one, you're going to get sent a gift. Get well soon. For one of you guys, you're uh, about to send a gift. And for one of you guys, you're about to send, um, for one, you're about to get, send a gift. So you're about to send a gift to somebody, whoever that is. And you only, you know who you're about to send a gift to, not anybody else. And for one, you're about to get sent a gift. I heard a get well soon gift. So, well, if you're getting sent a get well soon gift, um, you have been ill in some shape, form, or fashion in the past. So, um, I hope you get feeling better, whoever that's for. Okay? I love you guys. Everybody have a good day and namaste.